everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, my Adobe Medium experiments. Oh, God damn it! Every time. Put that back. There. As you can see, I'm well on the way to making this pumpkin. Uh, today, I'm going to focus on making the bottom and top uh, of the ste like the stem, the top and bottom stem areas. Uh, let's see, where did we leave off? I added in a lot of detail along the uh, outside of the spans. I merged it all together to one solid object, and now it's time for some extra details. I'm looking at the different kind of stems that they've got, that we've got here. So, let's start with the bottom, because that'll be the easiest, I think. Let's get the menu here. Maybe angle it so you can see it too. I don't know if you can or not. Sort of, kind of, almost. <sighs> Let's add a new layer. Let's see, this is pumpkin three. So let's add it to the pumpkin layer. Call that. I don't really have a name for it other than bottom stem, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, select the color. Hey, Crankbait, how's it going? Haven't, haven't seen or heard from you in a long time. How's it going? Um, that is not quite the color I want. Let's go with like an off-white. <laughs> uh, I am working on a <laughs> at two thousand five. I have no hold on. I got to read that. Give me a moment. Uh, Uh, if you're looking at the, if you're look, talking about the pumpkins, these are reference images. I'm just using them to, uh, so that I can make informed choices about how I build this thing. And I also can do color selections on it. <laughs> yeah, they are very old PNGs and JPEGs, but, uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to knock it because I'm using them for reference. So for this, I don't need a whole lot of... Uh, I don't really know uh, what, uh, what you mean by the odd voice audition I don't I don't get it I'm using um I'm using the microphone for the uh Oculus Quest so Oh, 
Oh, yeah, nothing ever came of that. I didn't uh I didn't get in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm kind of used to that. I don't get into a lot of like I don't uh make the cut in a lot of these uh or any of the TV auditions I've gone for. So I wasn't really surprised or disappointed. Just, uh, I'd have been more surprised if I actually got in. <laughs> Alone series? I'm not familiar with that one. I'll have to check it out. Oh, yeah, I would not last very long. I know that for a fact. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not down for some Hunger Games shit. <laughs> All right, so that looks a bit like the the bottom that I was trying to create here. Let's see. Cannot see that. All right, take care, crankbait. Good to hear. Good to hear from you. All right, that's what I was going for. Put that back. All right. <sighs> I'm not going to go nuts on that detail. So I'm just going to lock that in right there. Uh, Maybe increase the resolution a little bit and see what I can do about carving out some. Hmm. Trying to see if any of these shapes would be helpful to me. These primitives.
Oop. I'll just use this. Well, that completely I, like completely defeated the purpose of what I was trying to do. So let's try to inflate it a little bit. Just trying to add little tiny holes. That'll work. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to work on the pumpkin stem. <laughs> Steam. There we go. Now let's go to clay. A little bit of color selection. Try not to lose my balance. I don't know if I got the color on that or not. Guess we'll find out. Ah. Uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so now that I have this, try and do a little bit of moving. I'm just going to use the, the shape of the object itself to inform where parts of it go and like how the flow of the, of the shape forms. There we go. <laughs> I'm digging that so far. Going to increase the resolution on it and see about adding some more clay. Sort of trace. Uh, you're not really going to be able to see this without. Uh, here, I'm going to switch. Now you can see it from my perspective. That could definitely be a lot smoother, but it I'm not really going for perfection because this is an organic shape and it can be it can look however I want it to look I will smooth it a little bit though And yeah, I absolutely did not get the correct color that I wanted. So I'll be going in and painting this now. Once I get the uh the shapes down. Oh, duh. All right. I'm going to Right, turn it around, 
work at it from the other side. Like I'm trying to walk all the way around the pumpkin. Like there's no really, there's really no need to do that. One thing I'll definitely have to develop is a steadier hand, a steadier three-dimensional hand, because right now it's <laughs> not easy to do it like this. Mm. Oh, wait a second. Ah, son of a gun. Darn. Okay. No wonder that wasn't working properly. <laughs> All right. Have to add it to the actual stem. <sighs> Hmm. You know what? I wonder if I move this there. I think that works a little bit better. So that looks a little bit like a melted candle, but I'm going to smooth it and see what that does. Yeah, that really drops it down quite a bit. Now I can carve a little bit more into it if I want to, but first let me see about painting it. Paint color. Actually, you know what? Let's not paint. At least not in that sense. Stomp the color. Nope. All right, I'm going to bring this a bit closer so I can get a more accurate color selection. Move the menu down. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. There we go. That's still mess around a little bit more with the color because I can. Let's see if I can find a good. That'll work for now, I think. Maybe make it a little bit darker. But I want it to be an accurate... I still want it to be color accurate to, uh, to something that actually exists. 
That's that looks kind of like a poop brown. I don't want to do that. That'll work, I think. Let me see what I can do about carving some more detail into this. Oh. There we go. It's like first I was adding to it. Now I'm taking away. Let me go back to that view. I don't know why I'm working so small. <clears throat> there we go. That's a better... And see what I'm doing. I'm moving the whole... I'm moving the whole planet again. Damn it. Ah, oh well. Well, now I can do this and really get in there. There we go. Basically making a miniature tree here. That what that's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. So that's kind of what I'm going for.
Man, the strength on that's really, really exaggerated. Hmm. That seems a bit extreme. That I'll smooth out. See some of this area I can Like I can emphasize the detail in other areas, I can smooth it out. Some of that is too extreme. I'll go in and smooth that out a little bit. And I know that I, I had made them more pronounced because I thought that they were too smooth. But I think... <sighs> it's about finding a balance between too much detail and not enough. High contrast and low contrast areas. Hmm. Oi. And when you've got an itch on your nose in this thing, it's not, <clears throat> not easy to deal with.
Whereas the more, like the higher resolution you go, the more opportunity you have for greater detail. But at the same time, you have the ability to <laughs> to go to go overboard. And I do like that on the larger scale, you really have the ability, you don't have to worry about how steady your hand is. So you can use your whole arm and you can apply strokes with more confidence. You have the freedom to do that. It's like a, uh, when you're drawing on a with a pencil on paper the larger your paper the easier it is to work detail in it's like that and your your strokes of your pencil have a tendency to be more confident because you have more room to work with All right. <laughs> all right let's select it shrink it back down yeah we're digging that <laughs> yikes look at where the table the table is so far down and so huge so let's select the world ah What did I do? Let's 
Screen Origin, Manipulate, World, boom, 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 Rotate, World, boom, 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 Scale, World, boom, boom, boom. Okay, Sculpt, Manipulator, World, boom, boom, boom. Urgh. Wow, that got that got big. Origin, boom, boom, boom. Scale, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. <laughs> right back to where I needed it to be. And look at that detail on that stem. I really like that. So now, I will definitely save it. Save as Pumpkin 3. Always save in version numbers if you can. So now, now that I have this, I can make some duplicates of it and then try to squash it, stretch it, get some different and interesting shapes. Oh. Get you back to where you were. Ah. There you go. Shrink you. Pumpkin shell. Pumpkin version three. That's pumpkin core. Don't need the pumpkin core. I could just delete that layer. Whew. Pumpkin version three. Duplicate. Yes, please. Rename pumpkin version four. Enter. So now I have the whole thing. I'm going to try. Oh, apparently I cannot. I have to merge the whole thing if I want to alter it. That's kind of disappointing. Hmm. What do I want to do? I wonder if the color is going to change on these things if I merge them. Apparently it did not. Oh, wait, hold on. Three is off. What? Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Uh, hold on a second. I'm really confused right now. So that's all these individual uh. Okay, that's these. I did delete that core, but this, yeah, that's what I did. So let's lock that, take this, rename this. This was pumpkin four. Enter. And then see about creating a pumpkin five. Duplicate. There you are. So we hide you. Oh, 
rename you pumpkin five. Okay. Merge. So now that's all one layer and it also has the individual colors, which is great. So now I can shrink this down, increase the resolution on it more if I want to, I think. Now try to create a different shaped pumpkin. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if I like that. Because you know how some pumpkins are just like taller, shorter. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging that. Oh, you'll, I think y'all will get a kick out of this. Oh. oh, never mind. I don't, oh, you know what? That might work. Hmm.
Hmm. I think move might work better. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hmm. Let's uh yeah bring that one back. Come on now. There we go. I think Yes. All right. So now we have three different pumpkins. <laughs> different shapes. It could be different sizes. <laughs> nice. Of course, you know what happens now? That's right, jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm gonna save this, and then next episode, I'm gonna be carving some, I'm gonna do some pumpkin carving. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> All right, have a nice night, everybody.